You're watching Fast Break Friday on WNEM Sports Extra. Hey everyone and welcome to Fast Break Friday. It's a brand new segment on WNEM and we can't wait to get underway. Yes, we have double digit gains for you guys tonight. Plus, we'll be presenting our WNEM play of the night. In addition to that, we'll look ahead at three matchups that are finalists for next Friday's Game of the Week. I love it. So for the first time, let's get started on this edition of Fast Break Friday. And before we get to the highlights, it was a special night at Beecher High School where the Bucks retired. Monte Morris is number 11 in Jersey before the game. Most of the Pistons teammates were there to show their support. December the 1st was declared Monte Morris Day. His former coach with the Bucks, Mike Williams, gave a quick speech as well. Then the jersey was unveiled. What a moment there. The gym went nuts. Monte Morris, the 2013 Mr. Basketball, has his number 11 retired for Beecher High School. This is something you look back on, you know, years later down the line. Um, it's just amazing. It's hard for me to really speak on because I know how much I love Beecher. I know how bad I wanted to come to Beecher um, and put on that red and white this 11. So um, it just feels good that, you know, it's retired. Especially with only five people or well, four other people being able to do it. But um, just in all, it was just a great ceremony. He's just a very good kid. He has a great heart. He's a better human being than he is an athlete. What a night at Beecher High School after the ceremony and press conference. The Bucks hit the floor, which leads us to our first game of the night. This is your Fast Break Friday Game of the Week. Our Week 1 Game of the Week features Beecher hosting Goodrich. The Bucks starting five wearing number 11 jerseys. That'll be the last time a number 11 is worn on that floor. Now to the action, Demarcus Burke Jr. with a nice drive and finish. Beecher keeping the momentum going this time. Burke Jr. going to dish it off to Jalen Williams. The big man puts it home, but the Martians wouldn't back down. Landon Brown going to find Parker LaPlay. He buries it from just inside the arc. Goodrich out in transition now. LaPlay going to find his brother Jensen LaPlay. He lays it up and lays it in. The Martians keep showing their passing. Luke Francis with a nice pass to Jacoby Leggett. He finishes the play. Goodrich takes down Beecher tonight, 58-55. Well, in a crosstown matchup, Midland High made a short trip to Midland Bullet Creek. Lancers coming into this one 1-0 one oh, as the Chemics were looking for their first win of the season. First quarter, Parker Meckler is going to dish it to Bo Schwartz. Back out to Landon Tarkowski. He goes for three. That one's good for the Lancers. The Chemics now got the ball and... Bennett Smith gets doubled up, looking for support, finds Noah Wall on the wing from deep. That triple gets knocked down by the Chemics. Time ticking down now in the first quarter. The Lancers, they get their pass intercepted by J.B. Brown, who heaves it to Wall, who lays it up and in. And as time expires in the first quarter, this game would go to overtime. And in the end, Bullet Creek coming back and taking the win tonight, 57-52. Grand Blank, who lost in the D1 semifinals last season, starts their season tonight as they take on Waterford Mott. First quarter, Bobcats down early, but Bryce O'Mara finds Kasten Sendry, who drives it in for the layup. Bobcats go on a run. De De Deontay Huddleston finds Andrew Perdue open for a three. He nails it and closes the gap more. To the second, Grand Blank moves the ball around, and Huddleston is open in the corner. He hits a three to give the Bobcats the lead, but Waterford Mott would come out with a 62-56 victory over Grand Blank. A pair of teams starting the season 1-0 go head-to-head -head as Ithaca takes on Chessening. Chessening picked up the win last year. Yellow Jackets looking for some revenge. Ithaca's Riley White going to get the steal and then take it himself coast to coast and lays it in. Yellow Jackets gaining some momentum. Colin Thrush gets the nice steal and then the floater plus the and one. But back comes Chessening. Luke Barta going to grab the offensive rebound, goes back up strong, count the basket plus the foul. Ithaca responds. They kick it out to Bryson LeBaron. His three is through. Chessening answers with a three of their own. Brady Sager. Buries it as Chesney would go on to get the win 47 to 38. Fulton looking to get their first win of the season as they travel to Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart tonight starting in the second half. And Fulton's Bryson Sadler taking the ball coast to coast. He'll go for the layup and it's through. Mount Pleasant Heart already up. 
by 40 to 22 and Sacred Heart looking to add to it. Luke Taylor from the pass and gets the layup. The Irish continue to add to their lead and Taylor once again making plays for the Irish. He's going to find himself wide open. Nobody around. That three is good. This game was all Irish as Grady Pirat is going to get the steal. Goes the other way. Thanking out a defender as well and he'll lay that one up and in. Sacred Heart gets the win 59 to 39. Sayonara so, Heritage played their first game of the season tonight as they took on Flushing. Both teams are looking to improve after early exits in the playoffs last season. Picking it up in the third quarter, Drew Tunneycliffe is in the right place after a missed pass and takes it up court. He would find a Luke Smith for the easy layup. Later in the corner, Hawks press allows Bryce, uh, Bryce Isom to get the steal and he would throw it down to build on their lead. Few minutes later, Tyler Ode gets a steal here. Nobody is in front of him, and he would go up with defenders around him and throw it down for the dunk. Heritage had full control of this one, winning 63 to 29.